going. All right, welcome. So my name is Mr. Hancock. I'll be your driver's education instructor for at least the theory part of the course. Um, what I want to do is kind of go over everything today that you need to do uh, to basically get your license. That's what you should be doing. Um, anyways, let me first, I'm going to share my screen real quick. And I want to walk you through the class. So then you kind of understand uh, how this all works. Okay. So just so you know, driver's education, um, it's managed by the state of Utah, the um, basically the driver's license division. And because we can teach it in school, the Utah State Board of Education. So because of that, they make me run the class a specific way. So we have to have so many um, specified hours that it takes uh, to complete your theory course, okay? There's a couple, there's two parts to driver's education, which I'll talk about. We only do one here at UTBA, um, but I'll kind of help you through everything there. So. You probably logged onto your class already, and what you did is you said, oh, wow, okay, you saw this announcement. You see that we have to do it through Canvas. Um, that is not by choice, I'm sorry. Uh, we just have to do it through Canvas because that's what the Utah um, State Board of Education tells us we have to do. We have to do a specific class that they give us through Canvas. So once you log on um, to Canvas, Everybody should have a login, okay? It's going to be your utahvirtualacademy.org email is going to be your um, username. And then your password is drivefit, all lowercase, okay? And I'll, I'll just type that in the chat too. I think most of you have probably logged in already, um, but that is how it goes. So if you haven't used Canvas before, let me just kind of go over it a little bit. Um, you have modules on the side here that that's where you'll kind of go to after this, or you can just push next. Uh, what I want you to do, read through this. This kind of tells a little bit of how everything's set up. One thing that I need you to do if you have not done already is I need you to fill out this form, okay? Once you click on this form, it's gonna ask you for some information. And the reason I need this information is because what I do at the end of class is I put, put into, they call it DEMS at the state of Utah. It's called the Driver's License Education Management System. But since I'm a certified instructor, I'm able to go in and put that you've completed the theory part of your course. If I do not have your learner's permit number, I cannot put that in, okay? So I need your birth date, your name, and your permit number, and when it expires too. Um, and then if you just give me your parents' name and best number, just in case I need to call you and say, hey, I do not have that information. Okay, so that's one of the first things you need to do once you um, get on here. Okay, after that, uh, what you do is you just start rolling through the modules and everything, okay? Um, if you go to modules, this is maybe the best thing to do. You can just go to modules and you can start just doing the assignments. You can see nothing will, everything's locked until you complete the one above it. So if I go to uh, modeling good student habits, go right here. Go to next and then you have all of your assignments that are built on here what i'm going to do just so you can keep track um, on the block and stuff like that is if you look at the modules real quick you can see there are five different modules 
I'm just going to put the modules and the points available into your the OLS here. And then as soon as you complete that module, I'll put that in. If you do fall behind in when it's due, then we can have everybody do it. So it is set up for a block course. If you can kind of see here, everything needs to be done by October 13th. If you're not completely done by then, we can still work with it, work with you, but you need to get everything done. Okay, somebody had a question. The top of my permit fell off, so I don't have your number. Okay, you need to contact the driver's license division and get that number, okay? Because that's an important number that we'll have to have, okay? So before joining this class, everybody should have their permit. Does everybody have their permit that's on right now? Hopefully, okay, all right, because I told them you have to have your permit before you get in here. Okay, so let's talk about getting your license, okay? There's two parts to it. This is the first part, this is the, um, the theory class. You will also need to do a behind the wheel training with a certified instructor, okay? Because Utah Virtual is spread out throughout all of Utah, we're unable to provide that but I can help you guys find a place to do the behind the wheel. You can either do through your local district school. I know some also some charter schools that, that do programs that they'll let you in. And then they also have private driving, driving companies. Okay. So I can set you up. You can just, once we get to that point, you can say, Hey, I live in this area and I can say, okay, here's my contacts in this area. You can um, contact them and they can help you do the behind the wheel training. Okay, so here's a little video um, that was put together by an organization that kind of talks a little bit. It's really quick about how to get your license in Utah, okay? Um, so let's kind of, I'm gonna go through a little bit of it and then stop um, and kind of explain everything. And then at the very end, we'll just, I'll ask you for any questions you might have about driver's ed, okay? Okay, so here we go. Do you need to get, Okay, can you guys hear that? Yeah, okay, here we go. Get your driver's license in Utah? Come take your driver education class through DriveFit. DriveFit is sponsored by Utah Military Academy to help out students who may not have driver education available to them. Here are the steps. Step one, obtain your learner's permit. Once you turn 15 years old, you can obtain your learner's permit in Utah. You can do this by studying and passing the learner's permit test. You take the test by going into your local driver license division. If you need help studying, you can find resources at drivefit.net. Step 2. Start driving with a parent or guardian. Utah requires 40 hours of driving before you can get your license. 10 of those must be at All night. All right, so, so that start is a getting requirement that you need to get before you have your license, okay? Um, you need to drive 40 hours with your parent. 10 of those need to be at night. Hopefully, since you already have your permit now, you're already starting to get some time behind the wheel with your parent. Um, because what's going to happen is when you do the behind the wheel training with whoever you do it through, uh, they're going to be the ones like, Hey, you need to be ready. You're going to hit usually residential highway, freeway, Canyon city, and then they're gonna do, uh, depending on the place where you go, some of them can do the skills test. With that, Some sometimes you might have to go to the driver's last division to do the, the skills test. So that's, uh, that's a big portion of it. So make sure you're driving with your parents right now. Practice in. Step three, sign up for driver education through DriveFit. Go to our website, drivefit.net, okay, and that. application charges. You're doing it through us. You can sign up at any time and start your online course as soon as we get your information in our system. Please allow 24 to 48 hours for us to process the registration. Step 4. Complete the online class and driver simulation. The 30 hours of theory class allows the students to better understand the laws and rules of the road. You All can right. finish this so as this fast as you can you're doing through Utah Virtual Academy is the theory class, okay? Um, it's supposed to be 30 hours. You can do it, it's set up, you can do it as fast as you want. 
but we set it up as a block time frame. So we want you to be done by October 13th, I believe is, is the date. So if you can do it by that, then if you do need a little bit more time, um, I can extend that time because we do it through canvas, but just know like you can't go to the next portion of driver's education until you finish it. And then I can get you a certificate through the state that I'll send to you that you can take to whoever you're doing the, um, the behind the wheel training for. But you only have eight weeks to complete this section. Step five, drive time with an instructor and skills test. After you have completed the theory section of the class and have driven with your parent or guardian for at least 20 hours, a certified instructor will take you and other students on the road. You will observe others driving as well as show your instructor that you're ready to take the skills test. When you're ready, the instructor will administer the skills test to you. Step six, okay, graduation. So the behind the wheel training after the course is done, um, that's where I'll kind of help you get set up with an instructor to do the the behind the wheel training. The behind the wheel training, um, it's six hours that you need to do behind the wheel. Um, depending if you go to a private school, like a private driving school, or if you do it through a district or charter school, there's a little bit different requirements that they require. You can do it through each, either one, it's fine. Um, there is usually a fee associated with it. Um, the district or charter school tend to be cheaper um, just because they get some type of subsidy from the state. So you might want to look into that first if price is an issue. Um, if price isn't an issue, the private driving schools, they're around $300 to do the behind the wheel training. Uh, district school or charter school is around, um, I would say 150 to, to 200, okay? So that's just something to think about as you are, are looking at the behind the wheel training. So, but as I said, I'll give you contacts for who I know in that area um, of wherever you live. And receiving your license. After you have completed steps one through five, you will then be graduated from driver education through DriveFit. In order to get your license, you must be 16 years old and have held your permit for at least six months. Okay, so that's another big thing you need to think of is some of you may be 15 in here. Um, to qualify to get your license, you need to be at least 16 years old and you have to held your permit for six months. So if you got your permit at 16, you still have to wait six months in order to get that, um, that uh, permit unless you are... 18 years old okay so if you're 18 years old you do not have to wait the six months but you still have to complete all of the portions of driver's education okay the next step is to go to your local driver license division and get your license congratulations all right so that those are kind of the steps you need to go through to get your license um, as i said i'll walk through them with you as much as i can but right now you guys are on the course portion of everything. Um, so uh, first, do you guys have any questions? This is gonna be my question portion of it. And I'm actually gonna stop the recording so I can put this on YouTube.